Chatting about old times, these former soldiers are proud of their military service and they feel the controversy surrounding the Yasukuni shrine is unfair. But even Mr. Sasaki, a former naval officer, would prefer the Japanese Prime Minister didn't visit. It's a failure of Japan's foreign policy. Kuzumi messed it up because he wasn't diplomatic enough. But his successor is better. Mr. Ojiro was an Air Force radio operator. I asked him if he felt his fallen comrades were forgotten in the political controversy. I do, he said. And as he said it, he seemed to remember the radio sign-off he used with his pilots. If you don't come back, we'll meet again at Yasukuni. But tears are being shed in China too, where memories of the war are also still fresh. In Nanjing, a few survivors remain from one of the most violent episodes of the Japanese occupation. In my family, seven people were killed, including one child. I was seriously injured. My aunt was raped and then killed. My grandfather was killed by a bayonet gun. Memories of the war have soured relations with Japan, and many people here feel the horror of what happened can't be forgotten. Japanese troops killed 300,000 people in Nanjing in just six weeks. Today, very few survivors remain, but those that are alive insist the Japanese government must apologize. Another survivor, Mr. Jiang, saw his family murdered on the banks of the river by Japanese officers carrying samurai swords. He escaped by hiding with his infant brother. They survived by drinking water from pools piled high with bodies. As he showed me one of the other massacre sites, a Buddhist temple, he explained that he firmly opposes the shrine visits but sympathizes with the soldiers' families. They shouldn't be commemorated. They were fighting against us. But I do have some sympathy for their families. After all, a lot of these soldiers themselves were forced to go into the army. It's that sort of understanding that many Japanese would like applied to the Yasukuni Shrine. Take away the political controversy so that the younger generation can learn about the sacrifices made by those that went before them. Tony Chang, Al Jazeera, at the Yasukuni Shrine in Tokyo.